Hello YouTubers. Wanted to give an update on my most recent project. Um, I posted some pictures in the forums and a couple of the pages and things on this 10 watt RGB LED strobe light. Um, I got the circuit done up tonight and um, I just got it down here on a breadboard but I wanted to show real quick what I can do with this. I've got it just flashing um, pretty good rate right now. I can actually speed that up. I don't even know if it might be too fast for the camera to even catch. Um, I can also slow it way, way down. So right there I'm actually adjusting the time, the delay between flashes. Um, I can also adjust how long the flash is. I can make it a a longer flash or a much quicker, much shorter flash. Um, so a lot of adjustment with it, but what I really want to show, um, and this thing is incredibly bright, um, I think the full white on it's somewhere around 350 to 400 lumens. Um, but I wanted to show that I've got this right here, um, this is just the regular DMX deck from Holiday Coro. Um, so if I change this over to just the red on, I come back to my light. We're actually strobing in red now. And if I do red and green together, I've got yellow or green. I'll do green and blue to get my cyan. Go get the green down, so we're just at blue now. And we'll do our red and blue up for our pinky purples. And then, of course, red, green, and blue to get our white. Um, and you can see I'm not doing not sending a flash pattern on the DMX signal. Um, what I'm what I've done is I've built down here on my little circuit board um, uh, an actual circuit that does the flashing and it gives me the ability to adjust um, all the parameters of the flash. And that circuit's in between the LED and the driver. Um, so it's pretty simple um, as far as construction goes. Um, all of the parts are readily available. Mouser or uh, actually just went and got these at Radio Shack. Um, and if I kill the power to my flasher circuit here, And I come back here onto my DMX. You can see that with no DMX. Signal. That we are actually just back operating like a regular footlight. So if I disable my DMX here, the flood goes right back into its normal test pattern. So you can use it like a regular floodlight. or uh, hook up the flasher circuit here and go back to the strobing. 